What's up, everybody? I'd like to welcome you guys back to part eight of Days Gone. Now, last we left off, we were going through, rummaging through a down plane that was in Ripper territory. And then we basically went with Iron Mike out on a, I guess, one of the few runs he goes out on to show him about where the freaks hide, where they hibernate, where they sleep. Whatever they do in those freaking caves, we don't know what. But, without further ado, if you guys can like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. But, let's get back to the game. See you guys later. Alrighty, on Herod's birthday, drive to the location. So, uh, How's yesterday... It oh, it's doing good. I don't know what your name is, Buzz. I wonder how Boozer's holding that. I guess I should, uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. I guess I better back up and go check on him. Are we allowed to go back in there to check on him? Is he still in the... Oh, okay, it gives us a mission. I didn't know if that was a little side mission or not. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but... Uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thank you, man. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. I could use a hand. <laughs> so we see he's back in higher spirits, making uh, making jokes about him losing his hand. Look, we got Boozer Shotgun now. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Oh, yeah, that's good. So we have our most of this all the way upgraded. Let's go ahead and go to a different slot now and read it through it. So increase the time, icons display and survival, plants are displayed on mini-map. Provides a chance to retrieve some bolts that have been fired from your crossbow, which I do not use my crossbow anymore. I got that uh, light machine gun. You're going to get less noise while moving or dropping. Blah, 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 blah. So we got two skill points, which we can use. So I think we'll hit the survival aspect of it because uh, I'm not really stealthy enough, man. All honesty. Let's see this. So we can get the, that and then we can move to the second tier. Yes, skill tier 2. Yep, Thief in the Night, Green Thumb, double the plants when collecting them. So we're getting good at it. Alright, let's back up. Let's roll out here first. I was saying though, before we got cut off with the thing to go see Boozer, I believe this mission was from last night when I was doing it. I didn't really get around to it. I ended the video there. But we're going to go see about... Please don't get ran over. That is so dumb. But we were seeing about the Nero checkpoint guys and where we could find them and, you know, basically hide in bushes away from the Nero goons. Only 600 some meters away. Let's go, boys. Yeah, let me know if you guys like the series so far, man. I mean, honestly, I'm enjoying it. I love it. That's why I'm putting it on the channel still. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lake out. Thanks, Ricky. 
I thought we were told to kill that Riley guy. With the red boots, I think. Dude was a weirdo, man. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I okay, need the area yeah, secured now. Listen up, I want this okay, to yeah, I got a nice tracker on that chopper. Oh, God, it's just kind of clogged out. I'm good. I can't let them see me. Area's locked down. Brian, the tracker's set. Should we get the one track? Maybe it is. Hilo Note 2060. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What are they building? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them or wild animals when we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, like houses. Okay, so we gotta get closer. This guy is running. What are you doing? I failed it, didn't I? Really, dude. So let's do what we did before, but we're going to not jump out of a thing. Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. We never see them or wild animals when build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Can you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. You know? Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again. Some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. How much longer? That might be nice. Flying how over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Don't. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before what one the of you hell spots me. Do you in here anyway? we got plenty of fuel. I double checked. Alrighty, we're out of here. Those dudes must be blind as bats, honestly. On Herod's birthday, so 4,737 XP out of 17,000. Alrighty, 
I remember dealing with my past. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? So we're gonna hit Iron Mike's again. Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I, 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 I was I was done for. Oh shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh man! Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. All right. So we got another mission to go. What is this one? Seeds for the spring. Let's go ahead and roll here. Deke, you there? I got out of the infirmary today, man. Any decision? Did you hurt enough of my wine in the last to a lifetime? Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? Well, about 50% there. Yeah. Life. Seriously, bro. It's like I can still feel my right hand. Nope. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Addy said. Day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Come on, quit teabagging, bro. Just just look at it. There you are. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, there's three of them. How are you just blowing past stuff, bro? What are you doing? So this dude has guys for days. Woo, how's it going, Lynch, man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Seeds for the spring. Okay, so that's 50% done. 
700 plus. Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. Dude, I thought I was gonna die there, man. I mean, they had automatic pistols you, Lynch, man. that they were shooting me with. That is a bad deal, man. I want, I want to get that. I have an automatic pistol over top of a, a regular pistol any day, I guess. What was that? I don't know. Let's see what this mission is about. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but... Because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Yeah, dude, I do not like that schizo guy. Dude is a jerk. Where we're going now, so we're going on like a mystery run, basically. Don't know what the details are. Don't know why we're going over here. Here. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. Shit. Fine. Okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you.
Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and I and Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, I Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, All right, we should be getting close to the... Yeah, Take I was about to say. slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. So we can't use our weapons yet. Which means we're in a safe area for now, I'm assuming. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Mm. All right, come on. I want to check something out. So we are back in the starting area. I'm assuming the starting area right around it. Check my map real quick. So we aren't far from O'Leary Mountain. We're just up the road from there. Which I guess is in the neck of the woods for Deacon. All the newts are around. Little freaks.
see if we're full on both of these. Might be useful. No, we're good. Come here and touch this. <laughs> Come on. Okay. You... you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. You ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on. Alright, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Alrighty, so we got the easier job. I assume. Don't know how good he is at swimming. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Nothing. Let me decide. There it is. Yep. That's it. We're feeling a move, boys. My camera just went crazy there for a second. Holy moly. All right, let's head back up top. See if we got it working right. <laughs> you feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. This is the most toned down mission I think I've played this entire game. Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Alright, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom? I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addy was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay, okay got it. I locked the door, bro. There, I got the gate. Come on. Thank Junction you. The room's right around here. Oh, 
Oh God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. Yeah, it's been a while, but I remember. I gotta grab some stuff. Don't run the other way. Oh, there's a sledgehammer, dude. What's this? So that's already better. Already. Burn it down. Ready? Oh, yeah. pick up this bottle. Dude, that is driving me nuts with the controller, man. Dude's running everywhere but Burn straight. Ready? Oh, yeah. Come on, boys. Like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Part of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh... You never mentioned them before, so I'm, you know I'm sorry if I if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. What? No. Hey. Hey. Come on. We gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? It's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Jesus Christ.
assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? What are these dudes, like, on, man? Because it's taking two shots. No, no, no. Come on. Why don't you drag your asses back to Iron Butte and find the shithole you crawled out from? Iron Mike has a tree. Hey, hey, hey. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Where's the other dude? There he is. Eat it, buddy. So I think they're coming around the right side trying to flank me. Oh, God. How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Cover me. I'll just go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice for you, huh? I think that's the last of them. Those just didn't have a chance, bro. This rifle freaking kills. I didn't even use my uh, the yeah, LMG. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. What do you think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa, what? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Oh, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Look how nice our bike looks. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Hey, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah. Really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and... Uh, to farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. Uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who they're talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. So we're getting a little bit more of a, a backstory on Deacon St. John through all the dialogue he talks to everybody with. Which I think is pretty cool. So know a little bit more about everybody else. 
Oh shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. Now? A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just, cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't re Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. That is so crazy. Okay. okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh. That is just the most straightforward answer. I don't care. Cool buddy who almost had a telephone pole. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah. Well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no. What is your problem? I just said I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? We got 400 more trusts with Iron Mike. We still haven't even got like a level. I think we're at level one. We're looking for level two to get everything upgraded. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can get more ammunition. Hey, I want to. How's life? The screamer. What is that? They call him that for a reason. Looking for down a damn something border. special. Have to run for our lives. We can get more ammo. That's for sure. Oh, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, it's too bad, huh? So what do we got? Uh, Deacon tracks down a Nero field research team, so we got another one over there. Schizo, speaking of Schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Gotta go get gas first. I didn't know if it tracked the gas or not, dude. That's crazy. You need something? 
Just looking around. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Sure. All right. All right, let's get help over there. I think that. Let me know if you need anything. We had this mission to do earlier, dude. We just never got around to it. All these other main missions started popping up. I wonder if that uh that horde over there at that mill camp is one we can do now, or it's kind of like a certain time you have to do stuff like that. Let's get rolling, boys. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm uh I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozers, uh, hell, he's, he's depressed or something. Fuck that. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? <laughs> I totally forgot we left his bike up there and just rolled off. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. Let me know I got too close. I was going to call up. I don't right, give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. I feel like if I do get that trade, I'll be a lot quieter than... I fail it? Oh my god, man. Subject is where. 
wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, Victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning Come on and out, make this easy on both of us. You must leave Hold the on. area we immediately or now, we yeah, will we... open fire. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. Okay, Stop okay. Oh area. my god. Really? Gotta get the hell out of here. Did you hear that? Walk over that way, pal. O'Brien, get out of here. There. O'Brien. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. How are you doing? The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch your name. Okay, so we got 100% of that done. We got another skill point. No, not there. And I believe before we're going to generate up FIFA tonight. Back out of here. It looks like we had another mission before we just cut that that uh that voice hey, dialogue Ricky, out. There. I'm uh I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to need you to cover for me. Skiz is going to wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty. Or Whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozers, uh... He's depressed or something. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Peeking out. So what are we doing? We gotta go all the way back there, dude. Guess we could travel in between, get to there through the fast point, fast travel point. Go in here and get fuel real quick. It's one of the drifters. Let him in. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah. He's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Whatever. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. All 
All right, let's roll up and fast travel that one now. It's a lot easier when you have a lot more fast travel points unlocked. Oh my, God, oh my so lord. Dig, heard you track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. I just want to beat the guy up for five minutes, man. Come on now. Alrighty, riding the open road. Let's see. Who's are you there? Yeah, dude. How you doing, brother? Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You, you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. just wanted me to tell you that you paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait. What? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Riding the open roads. So we got 500 trust, so we're building ourselves up slowly. We almost have trust level 2, which is where we can get a lot of stuff. Oh, buddy. We got a new camo now for the bike. Alrighty, what mission's going? We're gonna go get gas anyway, because I feel like we don't have any gas left. How's it going? Having a look. Looks safe. That okay. Where the hell's my ratchet wrench? Looking for anything in particular? Sure. All right. See you around. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up like crazy. Here. All right, let's roll over here. I think I'm going to. I want to say, where's it at? I don't think it shows it on the map where those things are. We'll get the assault rifle out and see if we can take on a horde. Oh boy, it's going to be crazy. So we have Boozer shotgun. We have that. We're going to get the MWS out. Should have enough ammo for everything. I think our stamina is pretty high up there. We did do a couple of near our checkpoints in the past, so hopefully. I am so lost. Where's the mill at? There it is, boys. Wait a sec, I got it. Fascinating, but uh. Now hold on, here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. 
Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage. Boys in the big end. Oh, that took out a good amount of them, boys. Guys, come on. Oh, God, my stamina's out. Really? Dude, I immediately died. They're like, yeah, buddy, how about we just put you back here? Let you not mess with it. First one. So I'm not even close to be able to do a do a thing like that yet. Dude, that is hey, terrible. How's it going? Uh, good choice. Okay. Let's see. We can clear out some of that, clear out some of that. Let's get it down to... The Burley Lake infestation area. Get some of these areas destroyed, man. We could get our trust build up, get better weapons, get better vehicle stuff. All around is better. Mark Copeland and Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. Couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. No oh! shape too by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing. Oh my god. Okay, put us right back here, dude. That is crazy, man. I couldn't Another do anything, dude. Just shoot me apart. Where is it? God damn nest. That's gotta be close. There's another nest. So it seems like they're a lot easier to kill enemies. I have a lot more ammunition with the assault rifles, which is kind of weird. Honestly, you think you... I mean, I guess because you wouldn't be able to carry as much as the heavy ammo, but... Either way... Dude, this... St. John. Oh, this Mark is. Copeland and Deacon St. John. There's Copeland. Hey, Cope. What's up? Let's check it in. Oh. Two of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old forest service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now hold on, here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well... It looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. 
Okay, so let me get this straight, Coach. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Hoosier's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, dude. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Moose? Mammy says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Dude, they ask an awful lot about that boozer guy, honestly. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, looks like we got a Nero checkpoint here, which we can actually hit real quick. Where's this guy at? Boost, are you there? Yeah, dude. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Alright, let's see. It looks like there's another way around here. We just can't get in there yet. Let's see if we can unlock that door. I swear there's a generator there. For every Nero checkpoint, there has to be a generator. Why is that shut, buddy? So we use this. Deacon, when you get time, swing by the camp. A job's come up. Ricky, oh my God, yeah. I'm famous okay, now. I'll be by. Saint John out. I hope that didn't go on the roof. Oh God, I hope it didn't go on the roof. I got a use for you. Doesn't matter. We got a Molotov, boys. Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Oh, there's another one. Dude, where all these guys come from? A lot of ammo left. Dude, there's just a mound of them that came out of nowhere. I was wondering where that came from. Must have been running up from the hill. Holy moly, man. Let's make sure and get all these things before it attracts more enemies. I don't really have that much ammo left. Leaving playable area. Alrighty, buddy, I'll leave. Yeah. Alright, sweet. We got ammo. Looks like a fuse that we have to get. Fuse. Yes. God damn it. Fuse blown. <laughs> now we're in business. Alrighty, let's, let's see. Oh, we can climb up there. Okay. Is there any more radios? No, there isn't. Let's go ahead and turn this on so we can actually get inside the Nero checkpoint. Full on there. Looks like there's a full on med kit we can use. So we were three out of three on that. Another Nero micro recorder. Uh, oh, more bad news. Not sure I want to listen to this. All 
Alright, I guess Deacon didn't want to listen to it. Yes. <laughs> Narrow injector. We are going to... I'm going to put it in focus, honestly. Because I think I'm lacking in the focus part of it. So we got 350 trust. Looks like we have 1,900. Oh, we got a locker? Oh, yeah. Let's fill the ammo up on that. Let's, uh, sidearm is full. We don't have that LMG yet, so, because we don't have, I don't, I don't think that Iron Mike's camp has the LMG aspect of it. But it is nighttime, so we're going to go ahead and sleep here. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Dude straight left the door open, I bet you. I'm putting $10 on it right now, boys. Just had to get our beauty sleep with the door open. Oh, yeah, boys. All right. It looks like we have quite a bit on our plate to do. We have a couple missions for another bounty hunter mission for Copeland. We have a mission for, it looks like, Tucker. And then we have one for Lost Lake also. But I'm going to leave the video here. I wanted to thank everybody for dropping by. Watching the videos, man, this whole series has been amazing so far besides me dying like 30 times to, I, I mean, a freaking, a dog just biting me on my bike. That that was wild, bro. We tried a horde, didn't really work out for us, but next couple of videos, we will definitely get it. But I will leave it here. I want to thank you guys for everything. Love to all. I'll see you guys in the next video.